Brand, I mean, it's a beautiful day. It is. This is just like, to me, for you, the perfect Christmas present. Well, that's a great way to put it, Jennifer. I hadn't thought of it in those terms, but it's a beautiful December day, and we've been waiting for this for a couple of years to see uh, the bottle arrive on site, and here we are. All right, Rand, we are talking about the best Christmas present ever. Tell us your feelings as you're, as you're here on site. To me, it's the first time it's just real now. Um, it's so exciting. I mean, it's Christmas early. You're absolutely right. Um, we've been working on this for a couple of years, and to see it come down the road and to arrive is uh, an absolute uh, joy for us. And uh, I'm sure Aubrey will enjoy seeing this when he's out next. Ride along Route 66, the Mother Road. Very important place for you and for history. Sure. Why is that? a place that you wanted to talk to? Well, um, perhaps it's coincidence, perhaps it's fate, but uh, I happen to be born on Route 66 in Clinton, Oklahoma, and every chance I have to work on projects that are along Route 66, there's something very powerful about it. There's certainly a spirit there, and Route 66 is alive and well, and um, really moving into the 21st century. You're looking behind you. Tell us what we're seeing and, and give us just a sense of your emotions about it today. Well, we're seeing um, the culmination of a lot of work and effort and energy, and um, we're seeing a 66-foot tall um, bottle. It's um, 20 feet in diameter. It's made of steel hoops. Uh, each one of the hoops will be, uh, will be lighted, and so you'll be able to come out through Route 66 in Arcadia, and it'll have this lovely glow on the horizon. It weighs approximately 19,000 pounds and it'll be painted um, a really beautiful uh, tone of yellow. It's, uh, so the, will the colors change at night? Um, we have the opportunity to do that. Uh, that's yet to be seen, but uh, there are those possibilities. Instant icon comes to mind. Yes. Give us a feel for how you wanted this to become an iconic place. Well, Route 66 has such a cult following. Um, everybody that is interested in Route 66 talks uh, amongst themselves over the internet and so forth about all of the cool things to do on Route 66, and Arcadia is going to be on the map uh, on a national level, um, and everybody will know uh, where uh, the world's largest uh, pop bottle is. It's going to be the world's largest pop bottle. What else is going to be unique about Pops? Well, Pops will have 12,000 soda bottles that will be uh, displayed in windows. Uh, they'll be a fabulous little restaurant here. Uh, it adjoins uh, Mr. McClendon's Tree Farm, which is just a stunningly beautiful uh, place on it, into itself. Uh, it'll be just a cool place to come hang around on a Saturday afternoon. Tell us about the uniqueness of the cantilevers. Right. Um, the building itself has a 100-foot cantilever on it, and the truth of the matter is that the idea came from the simple notion that today, when you're getting gasoline, wouldn't it be nice to have friendly service? And the idea is that you can pull up under the canopy, gas up your car, and not get wet which is different than what we normally go through at the gas station of today. So we're trying to correct that little mistake. It was tough to do. You had to get some special bolts and that sort of thing to make it work. It has been uh, an engineering feat uh, in many uh, ways, and there have been an enormous uh, number of very talented people that have participated in getting us to this point. Any final thoughts? Final thoughts. Um, I hope that, uh, that the uh, emails and internet connections have already started along Route 66 about Fox. Okay.